Well, hey there, ServiceNow community. It's Christy here with another episode of Did You Know? I thought since a lot of folks know me for my time spent in the hack zone space at random creator con events that I'd actually start my first video with a feature that comes straight from one of those hack zone demos. It also happens to be my very favorite feature added to Flow Designer to date, and that's data pill transformations. So what are data pill transformations anyway, Christy? Well, it's all kind of in the name. They allow you to transform data in data pills, but they allow you to do all that without the need for code. So whether it's simple string functions that you need, or you're applying some math to your data pill, or even navigating an array data pill, all those functions are there and a whole host of others are right there in Flow Designer for you, again, without having to write a single line of code. Now, sure, if you're a hardcore developer and you love writing code, you can still do that using that script block that's available to you in Flow Designer. But think about how nice this is for people that maybe aren't as proficient at writing JavaScript as they're building their workflows. They can get a whole heck of a lot more done without bothering a pro dev to help them out with their flow. So to show you kind of what this looks like, let's see a demo straight from our Make Farm Hack Zone booth. Now take, for example, this engraved text action that's part of our CNC spoke. Step four is building our JSON payload that we'll use to ultimately send the data to our CNC machine so that it engraves our text. Now this action supports multiple lines of code or lines of text, and each of the variables like L1 through L10 represent a line of that text coming from our request item that's submitted on the portal. If I look here at L1, we'll see that we're using the text array input and using a data pill transformation to pick up the zero index item from the array. If I look at the second, we'll see that it's picking up one from the array, and that continues all the way from line one all the way down to line 10. And if I put my hardcore coder hat on, I might have traditionally written a for loop to accomplish this task. But because I wanna save myself some time here, I just use data pill transformations to make it easier on myself and reduce a little technical debt for future upkeep. Now let's take a look at another example, but this time it's from our 3D printing spoke. Now this action's taken an attachment that is on a custom 3D print model CI class, and it's changing some of the things around in the file name so that our future rest step doesn't fail due to an invalid file name. Now I actually have a few transformations assigned to this single data pill. I'm using regex to replace any empty characters with underscores, as well as trimming my string and setting it all to lowercase. And as you can see, again, I'm doing all of that without a single line of written code. So now, as you can see, whether we're performing simple operations like replacing a string or something a little more complex, we can do all of that using our data pill transformations. Now that wraps up our episode of Did You Know, but I would love to hear from you, the community, if you have any new ideas for a Did You Know video. You can find me via email, LinkedIn, or our SN Dev Slack channel. And as always, be sure that you like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any new content coming from the Dev program. We'll see you next time.